much older than I look I'm really not a child, you know Don't believe me, check the book A reverse brain drain appears to be growing. U.S. scientists are leaving the country, by some estimates, one in five, in order to fund their research. Even places like Harvard and MIT are feeling the pinch. University labs do the spade work. Young scientists make discoveries that lead to new jobs, breakthroughs which the tech companies and drug companies capitalize on. The fact that there's such a concentration of medical research in such a small area is noteworthy. You know, if you just look out here, you have the Novartis Research Center right there. That's the big drug company. Brown Building there is the Whitehead Institute. Historically, the NIH really has uh, been the engine that drives medicine and medical research. And to this day? To this day. NIH funding has been declining a lot. Um, I think only about 8% of applications for NIH money are approved these days. So 92% of applications aren't. The NIH, is it 7 or 8% that get funded these days? It's about 7% for a grant that I would submit or anyone would submit to study aging at the biological level, which is very sad. It means that, uh, first of all, labs like mine are constantly struggling. Uh, I'm firing people because we're out of money. Um, what's worse is that what we used to do is dream big and aim high. But because of the, this lack of funding, we have to be extremely conservative. Uh, we, we struggle to, to do things that are non-conformist. I don't know. We're just not doing as good a job as we, we should be, I think, telling people how this could just change everything, you know? We're trying. I'm trying my best. But probably we're not doing as good a job as we should be doing. As a consequence, the National Institute of Aging, which has, has um, traditionally supported a lot of geriatrics, the care of older people, which is important, but it's different from this molecular understanding of the causes of aging and what to do about it. So here we have this young new science, you know, that is, it's, in, it's being starved, really. I just wrote a grant that was rejected. Other people wrote, wrote grants all the time that are rejected. Lenny and David both had grants rejected recently. That's nuts. And I think that the next generation of scientists is being turned off. Um, this profession because they see the struggle that we go through and there are many fewer jobs than there used to be. Right. We're losing the best minds right now and that's a bigger tragedy. Another one of the catch-22s that you guys are dealing with, right? Will it be better in other parts of the world? It is better in other parts of the world. Um, Switzerland, for example, I hear the rate is close to, it's at least more than 25 percent. Um, if so, if you submit a decent idea, it will get funded. You have to be really screw up not to, to be a successful scientist in Switzerland. Australia has uh, no deficit or very small deficit, and they're putting their money into research as well. Not enough, but it's better there. The funding rate is better. China, of course.